So we have some breaking news that Megyn Kelly has sat down for an interview with Tara Reid regarding the Joe Biden story. Now, that interview hasn't even been posted yet. When it does go up, it will be on Megyn Kelly's YouTube channel, and it will probably be posted on other social media outlets. But I'm making this video before that interview even goes up because I'm already seeing people deny the validity of this interview simply because of who's doing the interview. And I think that's grossly irresponsible. It's unfair to Tara Reid. It's unfair to Megyn Kelly, whatever you think of her. And it feeds into the tribalism that Chris Hayes on MSNBC warned us about when we talk about these sorts of stories. If you recall my video on Chris Hayes, if you recall the segment he actually did himself, what he said was, is that you can't just disbelieve certain women based on the political tribe. That just because Tara Reid is making claims against Joe Biden does not make her viewpoint invalid. Just as many Republicans maybe thought, you know, claims by Christine Ford against Brett Kavanaugh were invalid. And that the point of this new era where we believe women is that we don't simply make judgments based on the team, based on the color, based on the political party name, that we actually look at the people as individuals. And my concern is that the mainstream media, that the neoliberal Democrats, the Biden bros who have rejected Tara Reid and whose news sources for Weeks and weeks ignored her, and even after that, I don't think gave her fair credence for the most part, are now going to say that she's in the pocket of the far right because she's doing an interview with Megyn Kelly. Again, for those who don't know, Megyn Kelly is a massive name. She was one of the biggest stars on Fox News when she was at Fox News, but facing actually something quite similar to what happened to Tara Reid, she left and it became this big story, and she struck it out on her own in independent independent media. And again, I'm not a fan of Megyn Kelly or her ideological viewpoint. I never have been. I almost certainly never will be. But the fact of the matter is, this is a big score for her to do this interview. And I think it's fundamentally legitimate for her to do this interview. Not only is she a respected journalist, at least by a lot of people, not only is she an experienced journalist, but I think it also adds credence to the fact that she's a fellow woman And it adds credence to the fact that she has had something of a similar experience. If you look up Megyn Kelly and her story, it's not my place to tell it here. You'll see some similarities between her and Tara Reid. The power imbalances weren't quite as strict. Megyn Kelly was obviously a much wealthier woman when, you know, her story went down. Nonetheless, she was like Tara Reid in a position where she had to deal with the proclivities of men more powerful than her and how society doesn't believe women, whether it's Megyn Kelly or whether it's Tara Reid in a lot of ways. And so I think this is somebody who brings a professional yet personal lens to this story. And again, there were opportunities for Tara Reid to do some live interviews, but those interviews, I think, would have been fundamentally shaped by official organizational biases, right? I think fundamentally, you know, if Tara Reid went on Fox News, there was going to be a lot of concerns there. And a lot of Republicans have stood by Joe Biden. Some Republican leaders in the Senate have basically said they believe Joe Biden because they know that they have their own skeletons likely similar in nature and don't want to, you know, bring those up. And I think that, you know, a lot of the mainstream outlets weren't going to give Tara Reid a fair shake. And we see that because we know how they've interviewed pro-Biden sources, where they've basically allowed them to just lie about Tara Reid. Look at how Stacey Abrams was allowed to say that the New York Times said Tara Reid wasn't credible. There was no pushback from Don Lemon on CNN. And now people are saying, well, why doesn't Tara Reid do an interview with Don Lemon? Apparently, he offered to do one. Well, look at how poorly he did a job when it came to validating key news coverage about Tara Reid. If I'm Tara Reid, I don't necessarily trust Don Lemon to handle my story correctly or objectively, given how he's already handled it. That's something that I'd really be looking at. And as we know, Tara Reid got threats when she planned to go on mainstream media. Maybe it was easier for her to do an independent interview. Maybe that was something that was crucial. 
you know, in determining her ability to be safe. But I think there's one other very important point here. That whether it's sources that are quote unquote on the left or quote unquote on the right, independent media, media not affiliated with the biggest dogs in the game, have been the ones actually letting Tara Reid tell her story. And whether you like everyone or any one of those sources, they've been doing crucial, indispensable journalism. Katie Halper did the crucial interview that brought Tara Reid's story to the masses. Ryan Grimm helped expose how, uh, you know, organizations that allegedly help women like Tara Reid weren't helping her because they didn't want to be on Biden's bad side. He was also the one that dug up the transcript to the Larry King Live interview where Tara Reid's mother corroborated the story, you know, in the early 1990s. There were also people like Rich McHugh, Crystal and Sagar at the Hill, Crystal Ball and Sagar at the Hill, who did, you know, crucial interviews and did crucial reporting on the story as it developed and emerged. And so all of these independent sources, most on the left, but not exclusively, have been the ones telling the story that the mainstream media, Fox and the quote unquote centrist and the quote unquote liberal networks refused to do justice to until it was impossible to ignore. So in essence, this is a vindication of independent media, whether you're a leftist or you're a rightist independent media has been doing the job no one else would. And I think that's something that we all have to keep in mind that sources here on YouTube podcasts, sources like, you know, the intercept and other progressive and countercultural publications have been doing indispensable work. We need to recognize that when this interview comes out, we'll be covering it. It may well be the case that the interview is flawed. It may well be the case that Biden people have legitimate criticisms of this interview, but to reject it before we see it is the very sort of thing that Biden folks have been tarring and feathering Trump supporters for. That that instant, uncritical, uh, baseless rejection of media. That is blue MAGA, and we have to resist that at all costs.